Okay, we have here today another interesting integral. This one's from the MIT Integration B 2006. We have the integral from zero to pi, sine 21 x over two over sine x over two dx. Okay, this is actually a type of problem that I've done a few times in this channel, and it's something that you can do in two seconds just by looking at it. You can tell that the answer for this has to be just pi. But now, of course, I don't wanna do a 10 second video, and you're probably wondering where I got the answer from. Well, what we can actually do in this case is use the formula for the Dirichlet kernel. All right, so we have our formula over here to the right, and I derived this formula in a previous video. I'll provide a link in the description. It's actually a fair amount of work to prove this out, and they wouldn't expect you to derive this during the integration B. So we're just gonna use this formula, and we just need to show that our integral is in the same form, and we need to find this n value. So to start with, if I just take, if I just focus on this 21 x over two, I can split that up, so for 21, x over two, I can break it up like, I can break this up and write it as 20 over two x plus one half x, but then 20 over two, I can write this as 10 x plus, and I'll just write this as x over two. So now this is exactly in this format over here where the n value is gonna be just equal to 10. Now, because our integral is in exactly this form, we can rewrite it like this, just using that n value of 10. So we'll come over here and rewrite it. We'll have our integral from zero to pi, and then using this, it's gonna become one plus two times the sum. We'll have this sum starting at one, going to n, which is 10, and it's just gonna be cosine kx dx. But then because we have addition here, I can break this into two integrals. So the first integral is gonna be just one dx. The second one, what I can do is take this two and bring it up front here. And then we're gonna have this sum, but I'm gonna actually expand it out. So like for our first term, when k is one, we're gonna have just cosine of x. Then for when k is two, we're gonna have cosine two x, cosine three x. And our last term when k is 10, this thing's gonna go all the way to cosine 10 x. But then the integral of one is gonna be just x evaluated from zero to pi. And then here, integrating all this stuff, integral of cosine x is sine x. Integral of cosine two x is one half sine two x. And we don't really need to do all this out, but we'll just do a couple. And then at 10, it's gonna be 1 tenth sine 10x. So then evaluating x from zero to pi, we're just gonna get pi minus zero. Then here for all this, when we evaluate at pi, sine of pi is zero, sine of two pi is zero, sine of three pi is zero, sine of 10 pi is zero. So then all this stuff, the first term is gonna be zero. Then when we plug zero in, sine of zero is zero. But all these things, it's gonna be sine of zero, sine of zero. These are all going to zero. So we just get zero minus zero here. So what just happened is this whole thing is just zero. This goes away, this goes away. And so we're left with our final solution of just pi. But now quickly, just going back to why this takes two seconds. Well, when you see something of this form, just go directly to the Dirichlet kernel formula. But just notice we're gonna have a bunch of cosine terms and the k value is always gonna be an integer value, and we're integrating from zero to pi, where these are all gonna turn into signs where everything's going to zero. So basically, when you get used to doing this, you realize this whole thing is gonna be zero here, and you're just integrating one, but the integral of one is just x evaluated from zero to pi, gives us our solution, pi. So there you have it, good problem from MIT 2006. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.